Hey guys, MJ675 here, and today I'm going to be doing a new updated version of a very old video that I made, which I will put a card up on the screen and link in the description if you want to go watch it. It's very old, it's not the best, and that's why I decided to update it today, and if you have read the title or anything, you know that today I'm going to be talking about how I organize my bionicle parts for mock making and other various things. So with this sort of wall of parts that I've gotten here more recently, at least all the storage stuff, I've had all the parts for quite a while, some some newer additions than others, but I've had most of these parts for a very long time. And I have recently, not not maybe the most recent video, but pretty recently I did do a video where I walked through this in whole, in its entirety, as well as kind of my sorting process for taking apart sets and other stuff like that. So if you are interested in all the stuff here and you want to see all of these different containers here, then go watch that video. It will be linked in the description as well if you want to finish this one off first. But instead of going over everything today, I'm just going to be taking a look at the Bionicle stuff and how I've sorted those parts. And I'll bit do a bit more explaining than I did with the whole video because that video took a really long time to film and edit and stuff. So we're just going to be focusing on the Bionicle section here and I will explain that. So if you have seen my video where I do show off all of this, you'll know that I have mostly put system stuff on this side with some technique leaking over, mostly due to the Bionicle pieces, but I've also put all the Bionicle stuff as well as most of the Technic stuff over on this side. So this is going to be the main focus of our video today, but before we get into all this, I'm going to show you guys some stuff that I don't show a lot. Um, I might have mentioned it in past room tours, but not often. Um, I do have some sets up there on display, but the th Two things I want to show you up here are first this bin here. Um, this is where I store cloth elements. So if I want to use uh, like a cape or something on one of my mocks, that is where those capes are. And then up here you might be wondering what this is sort of a bin of just random looking things are. And this is my, basically my work in progress bin. Um, I'm probably going to need to find something better for this because as you can see it's quite a tower or just finish off some of this stuff. But also in there if I have certain mocks that have interchangeable parts or extra accessories that don't go on the figure the whole time, which I do, a lot of those are stored in there. Like the stand for the Tefton and MFPV build, I have switched that out for the landing gear on my display, but the stand needs to go up here because there's nowhere else for it to go really, so that's that's why I do that up there. And you'll also notice some Visorak just kind of climbing around here as well as a Bionicle Baraka poster, which has kind of been buried and stuff. But nonetheless, um, we will we will get into this. And one thing I, I'll just notice is that there's also some kind of that stuff leaking over into here due to the sort of full state of that bin right now. So I guess we will start looking at the different parts. Um, as I mentioned, there's a lot of Technic stuff here as well, but I'm just going to be focusing on the Bionicle stuff. And we'll start with the larger drawers to get those out of the way first. And those are those are pretty simple. Um, I do have quite a few of them in here. Um, most of those are right there, but I also do have some in there. And then the big drawers we'll do after we do the smaller drawers. So this first one here is the first Bionicle drawer that I have going from the top down. Um, this is a kind of strange assortment of pieces. And I'll kind of pull out a lot of the main pieces that are in here. And there might be some other ones that I'm missing. But I believe this is comprised of five main pieces. Being that you have this sort of throwbots disc throwing arm. You have this piece here. These two pieces for the Toa Hordika. The gear functions. As well as this Rakshi leg piece. And this old arm piece from the original Toa and stuff. So the reason why I've thrown all this stuff in here is... One, I don't use a lot of it very often when building mocks, and two, it makes sense because they're all stuff that has one ball joint on the end, so I didn't want to take up a lot of space with all those, so I just threw them all in together. Um, another thing that I don't use a lot, these are all the old, older style of joints or limb pieces. Just these two pieces in here. Again, I put them all together because it makes sense for me, and I don't use them quite a lot, so I keep all those there. Moving down, and we do have just these metro, metro limbs. Those are all in here any any color, just those pieces in there. And I've and you'll notice I've taken out a lot of the limb pieces like the Rockshi limbs. Again, same as the Metro limbs, all every every color just in there. And then here I do have the sort of upper arm piece from the 2006 sets and onward pretty much. Um, there was some stuff in like 2005 but they really really became popular in like 2006 so pretty cool. And now we're moving into a bit more masks and stuff. Here I store all the Visorak body pieces because these are just really large pieces. And I haven't I haven't used any of these in mocks recently. I did use this one 
in a mock in the past, but I have since taken that apart. And I am you're not going to use all of them in mocks. Um, I'm saving the white one as well as the red one, and, uh, not the red one, the blue one, and possibly the gold one to build those Visorak out of bulk parts that I have gotten. But I've already built four of them, so once I finish off that collection, then that will be pretty neat. And then down here, um, this is the newer style of masks for Bionicle Gen 2. And I've split these into two different drawers, and we'll take a look at the other ones in the bottom below this one. But basically, I've split them into Toa masks and non-Toa masks. So this is the non-Toa mask drawer. So any mask that has this connection style that's not a Toa goes in here. And then moving down here, we just have all the Toa masks. So pretty simple stuff. And then down here, we have the original sort of mask with the connection like this. So all those are in there, any size, shape, color of those. And then this is kind of a miscellaneous mask drawer for any masks that have somewhat unusual connections or don't use a particular headpiece. Um, I've also put the Paraka headpiece masks in here as well, um, just because I don't have a lot of stuff, a lot of those or anything. But a lot of different types of connections for these. Um, I'm not going to show you all of them, but I'm just going to pull out a few of the different ones that I have in here. Like some of the Baraki masks and other things of the sort, including the Rakshi masks and other things like that. But mostly just kind of miscellaneous stuff, and this is just system stuff, so that's the last one. So now we'll do the drawers over here, and I believe that there's, this is all Technic stuff right here, but I will show you this one. This is just tubing pieces which I use mostly with Bionicle, so I'm just showing you that. Any kind of tubing piece, whether it's flex tubing, anything is in there. And then these used to be in the other drawers, but I pulled them out because I used to use a lot of these in my mock building, but not so much anymore due to my kind of style of mock building changing a lot. And basically, the, the only re reason really, or the only thing that sorts these out from everything else, is that these are armor pieces that connect with kind of the through axle connecting to a limb piece or whatnot, so that's what sorts all those out. Moving over here, we have the sort of Rakshi armor pieces as well as the Borok armor pieces as well. And they, those are sorted out just because it makes makes sense than giving them, more sense than giving them they're both their own bins. And it, I don't know, it just, it just works for me. Then here we have the sort of Metru, some of the Metru style of armor pieces, but pretty much all the armor pieces that go onto a limb piece with a pin or Technic pin. So all those are in there. Any ones that are not in use are all in there. So pretty nice. And then down here we have the newest style of armor attachments that work with the CCBS armor shells. You can see the two pegs. So pretty much this one is not all the ones I have. This one is pretty much just the stuff from Bionicle Gen 2 or stuff that was or different types of them that were included in Bionicle Gen 2 sets. I know there wasn't a purple one in here because this one's purple. But there was some of those on the Bionicle Gen 2 set, so I threw those in there. In this last drawer here, on the top we have large Rakshi body pieces of various types. All the different ones, we have the shoulders, kind of the neck, and then this piece as well. So all those are in there, as well as this piece as well. So those four pieces all in there. And then we have kind of a miscellaneous Bionicle related Technic bin. Some stuff from before Bionicle, some stuff from after. Some of the gearboxes from the Gen 2 Bionicle sets, um, old Toa, not old the Torn arms, you know, Vizorak sort of bodies, or the Technic connection pieces, and just any miscellaneous Technic pieces that are related to Bionicle stuff, or just kind of some random Technic stuff too, they didn't really go anywhere. All those got thrown in here, so that's, that's what that is, there's also some from the Vaki in there. And then down here we have, speaking of Vaki, we have all the Vaki kind of lower leg pieces, any size, shape, color, all of those down there. So that destroys a hard time closing, so when a space opens up, that'll probably get moved out next. But now that we've taken a look at all these larger drawers, I'm going to show you guys all of the smaller drawers that I have stuff in. And most of that stuff is in these top two units here. So we'll start at the bottom too, just kind of get all the Bionicle stuff out of the way there. And we'll start with this drawer here, which has, I think this one's pretty much just exclusively Bionicle sort of stuff. We have these sort of larger Technic limb pieces that don't really have ball joints. And we have the smaller ones as well. Yeah, just mainly because I needed space for these. Um, down here we have Borok eyes in the back. And then we just have some axle connectors in the front. And I, I thought there was some in there, but I guess there isn't. So I guess we'll move over to the top here. And this is really the only one that has any Bionicle stuff in it. It just has this sort of ball that works with the 
Cordica function and these pieces as I use them a lot, which is why there aren't that many in there. So I guess now we'll move over to here, which I don't actually think has really a lot. Most of these are, most of these don't have anything except this one, which has these Paraka limbs or lower limb pieces in the back, just kind of stuffed in there. But I think everything else doesn't have anything in it that's Bionicle related. So then we'll kind of move to the two or so that are Bionicle related up here. String out with this one, which is all of these weird, kind of weird pieces. Um, we have the full thickness ones, then we have the ones that kind of go down to half thickness in the front. And then here we have some empty space for expansion in the back. And then some of these pieces. Um, I don't use these very often, but I do like to have these. these. I think these are really cool pieces. I wish I could use them more. But that is pretty much it for the bottom two. So we'll move to the top two now. And we'll start out with this one over here. And then mostly on the top, it's just gears and stuff. And that's pretty much what all the Technic stuff is in here. It's just gear related stuff. Um, I'll start with these two things here and I'll, I'll pull these down. These two are all Zamor spheres. Um, due to my quantity of, the, of them in the, kind of the silver color, I've sorted out all the silver ones into this one. Then any other color of Zamor Sphere goes into this bin here. And that is for projectiles. And you'll notice a lot of projectile stuff over on this side. Most of the weapon stuff that's not in the big drawers is in here. And then kind of moving on from there, we get a combination going down of heads, um, ammo pieces, and some limbs and a lot of armor as well. So starting out over here, we have the older style of Toamata heads and some of the Matoran ones with no brain stocks or eye stocks in them, which I don't intend to put eye stocks in in case I get the pieces to build those sets. Here we have the Avmatoran sort of weird heads that, you know, I don't use them a lot, but still if I if I use them for something I like to have them. Here we have the Glatorian heads, all those, any any color all in there. Very, very full. I might need to open that one up into a bigger bin soon. And then here we have more kind of head stuff. We have the heads for the Toa Anika rubberized masks. We have sort of these blue pieces, even the one from the speeders from 2008 or the sort of vehicles. There we go with the fins on it. And then back we have Hero Factory um, heads. I don't, I don't know which one these ones these are. I think these are from like third Hero Factory wave, those heads, because those are really the only Hero Factory sets I got. Then I'll pull out this next one here, which goes right in there, which I didn't show you. Um, I finally did get, a few days ago, I got this replacement Paraka skull. As if you've seen my haul where I have like a few pounds of CCBS pieces, I think it was like two pounds Bionicle and CCBS pieces, I found one of these in here and I was super thrilled, but then it broke. So, I did get a new one of those, and I'm really happy about that. And same time I got that, pretty much all the stuff in here is from that sort of acquisition. Um, I have a Metro, not a Metro, a Mata sort of brain stock piece, which wasn't attached to anything, which I grabbed. And this kind of thing, which, it, if you stick an axle down in the lower hole there, and then you, it allows you to twist it a certain amount, and then it will twist back. So, that has a spring in it. Then here, um, I have all of my... Krana pieces here in the front. Lots of those that aren't in any Borok, and then I have two of these armor pieces in the back. Then moving down to this row here, just have the larger variety of claws, any shape, not any shape, any color of those. Then we have the smaller ones here. Um, horn, like spikes and horns, I store over there. I don't really count them as Bionicle pieces, so I don't, I don't really count that. Then we have this kind of mid-size of those. And then in the back we just have chain pieces, which I've put all in one large link there. Moving out to right here, we have the Toamari gun am ammunition pieces. Um, all those are in there. And then in the back we have stuff for Rotuka spinners. Both of both the yellow piece here for them, as well as this piece, which you put the yellow piece in that you put the spinner on top of. So you will see the rip cords and the spinners over there, but we'll get to that later. This one right here has a few different things in it. It has shadow leeches here in the front. It has the squids for the Baraki in the middle. And then it has these tire pieces for those sort of wheel pieces up there. Um, not Bionicle related, but I do keep it there. And I'm pulling out these drawers. I might as well show you. This is all older brain stock pieces. I think, I think these are all for Metro heads, if I'm not mistaken. So here in the front, we have the shorter variety with the axle hole in the back. Here in the middle, we have the longer variety in a few different colors. And in the back, all of these are light-up ice stocks. So, 
very cool. I did change a lot of the batteries on those out, but I do have quite a few. And then the last small drawer here is all of the brain stocks for the newer style heads for Bionicle Gen 2, the ones with kind of the tails in the front. And then I have a few blue ones without the tails in the back. So that is all the small drawers. Now we'll move on to all these larger drawers here. Starting out with this one in the top, which is kind of a miscellaneous armor bin. And if you notice by looking at this, you'll notice I don't sort out the stickered pieces for a lot of the Bionicle stuff like I do for my main collection. Which, if, again, if you want to watch that, then go look at my past collection, kind of my parts and sorting video. A lot of just various armor pieces that don't really fit into any category that I have already laid out. We have like some hockey, old hockey stuff. You know, just various things. A lot of this I haven't, I don't have the sets from. I've just picked a lot of this up kind of in bulk. I do have the set for this, but, you know, a lot of, a lot of these are just kind of random pieces from various buildable figure themes over the years. Moving on to here, I believe this one is split. We have the Vaki head pieces, as well as kind of the upper neck piece, and then we have the Metru sort of shoulder armor pieces as well in there. This one right here is pretty much just miscellaneous CCBS shell attachment sort of armor pieces, but you'll notice very quickly that a lot of this is just Hero Factory sort of plating, Hero Factory, Hero Cores, and then just kind of random things like some Star Wars buildable action figure stuff. A lot of just miscellaneous stuff in here, a lot of it's Hero Factory stuff. Some of it's, you know, Star Wars and other things, but most of it's Hero Factory. So, that's where all that is. Um, here we have some more armor, and this is all the Nuva shoulder armor pieces, so pretty cool. Don't use those a lot, but I do like them. And then here we have all these heads here, and I've sorted these out by all of these are masks that I believe connect with Metru, not Metru heads, with Glatorian heads. So that's all those. Um, not only are the Bionicle ones in here, but also are a lot of the Hero Factory ones that still use that, which I've gotten through lots of bulk stuff over the years. And then here I have just a lot of heads that have just ball joints to connect them to. And, you know, we have some creature heads in here, but most of, I think most of them are creature heads, but the only really big thing in here are just Star Wars heads from the Star Wars buildable figures like the General Grievous, the Scout Trooper, and Speeder Bike, Captain Phasma, K2SO, and then Janerso, which I got on sale for $5, and that's the only reason I bought that set. So, pretty, pretty nice stuff there. And then here is where we kind of get into, like, the last of the weapons stuff on this side. And this is all mostly ammo for weapons. We have the large missiles in the back for those Technic shooters, which we'll see in a few minutes when we go into the large drawers. We also have Rotuka spinners, discs, and the disc launchers, Thornax. Um, if you look down here, we have the we have kind of the ammo for the Mystica Ghost Blaster, whatever that was. We also do have rip cords for the Rotuka spinners. So kind of just a lot of miscellaneous armor stuff mashed together. Yeah, there's also a hockey puck down there, if you can see that as well, which doesn't really fit into this category, but I didn't know where to put it, as well as a Coley ball or two is in there as well. And then here we have some more, pretty much the last of the head stuff. Um, there might be, I think there's actually one more thing, but this is the last main drawer for heads. Here we have the Metro heads in the front, and then the newer style bionicle heads in the back. Any colors of either of those, just go in those two bins. And then this last one here, we have Borok limbs in, here in the front, and then we have the original Mata heads in the back with brain stalks inserted into those heads. So this one is the last one for these larger drawers over here. And what I've done with this one is that the vast, vast majority of this is limb pieces. Some of it is armor and there's some weapon stuff mixed in here too, but the vast, vast majority of it is limb pieces. So starting off at the top, I think this is pretty easy to follow, so we'll go through it quickly. On the smallest size of CCBS bone pieces here in the bottom of this one. And then we have the next size up in this one, um, any, any colors or any colors of these pieces. Then we have the upper limb of the, and you'll notice that it skips the ones without the bolt, without the pinholes in them. This is the one pinhole one for the upper limb. And that is, that's because I have a large quantity of those. We'll see those in a minute. And then next is the, and I'm dropping stuff and I'll pick that up in a second, but here's the lower limb for that same one pin connection there so that pretty much goes on and I just picked this up because if you could tell this is not the best stacked thing here 
Um, this pretty much just goes on for all of the different numbers of pins. And there's sometimes there's stuff in the back, but a lot of times there isn't. Like this is the two pin upper limb CCBS bone. This is the two pin lower limb CCBS bone, which has some of the transparent light blue in there. And this is the four four pin CCBS bone piece in the upper and the lower limb. And this is the upper limb one. I don't know why it goes lower than upper. And in fact, I'll change that now because I think it originally went the other way. Ooh, we're changing it up mid mid video, but that's fine. Here we have kind of kind of out of place, but this has no pins on it, and this is the skeletal bone pieces or the bone bone pieces from the Skull Warriors from Battlefield Gen 2. I think it's the only sets those have really come in. And then here we have a special piece. No no pinholes on these, but this is the the kind of ball joint in the middle with the two sockets for the ball joints on the sides, and those are actually pretty pretty useful. Then here we have kind of out of place, but also kind of in place, the Hordika lower limb leg pieces. So that's where all those are. This is kind of a miscellaneous one, but it does have the sockets with the axle on the end. And then it also has the old Mata sort of arm or hand pieces. Here we have some more Hordika stuff. Those sort of arm pieces. Actually, no, these are Metru arms, I think lower arm pieces and then here are kind of the claws which are which have been included in some hero factory stuff i don't think they were in any bionicle gen 2 stuff but a lot of i think those were originally ben 10 pieces and that was not a fun theme <laughs> i did not buy any of those and yeah so here i have the friction extenders here and i used to have a lot more in here but i just have these sort of two axle holes and then the ball joint kind of off to the side pieces i use those quite a lot if you couldn't tell um, and then here I have Glatorian necks, and then just kind of tail pieces, and those are all in there. Um, you'll notice we're getting into a lot of more kind of ball joints for a second here, and then we'll go back to more limb pieces. This is one of my favorite ones. It has regular ball joints in the front, which I need more black ones of these, because I'm running low. Um, and then it has the three pin hole with a ball joint in the middle connector for the CCBS shell pieces most commonly, but you can use it with a lot of stuff. And then at the back, um, these are just some kind of weird bulky pieces with ball joints on the ends. Um, I think I got those from Hero Factory sets, so probably Witch Doctor and maybe the Scorpio set, but I don't, I don't remember which ones and I'm not going to look it up because they don't deserve to be looked up. But here are the Glatorian sort of middle, kind of weird joint pieces. Um, upper arms, if you look at these, um, these just have the holes with an axle hole in the middle, kind of instead of in the front on the side, so that's what those are. But I don't use I I got a bunch of them kind of from bulk thing I would use them but I haven't yet so that's interesting. Now we're getting into a lot of the sort of older style hand pieces or just socket pieces and this is really the only thing I've sorted out by color in my bionicle sort of parts. And that's just for ease of use and Largely due to the fact that if I kept them all in one bin, it would be a pretty large bin. It would take up drawer space, which something else is taking up right now. So here in the front, I have white, and then I have the dark green. And then in the back, for seemingly no reason at all, I have Borok teeth pieces. Don't ask why they're there. Um, they just fit. And then kind of moving on to the more green, because I like to keep these out in more sort of color sorted in the same bins, but I had to expand the lime ones. That's why the dark green got moved out. Lime green here in the front and regular sort of green in the back. Here we have some blues, not all the blues, but some of them. Light blue in the front, normal blue in the middle, and then dark blue in the back. And then this was my red bin, but now it just says all dark red in it because I don't use a lot of dark red apparently, but I have used all my regular red ones for whatever reason. This is kind of a miscellaneous of kind of brown. Here we have regular brown. And then here we have kind of this weird like yellow orange color. And then here we have just transparent orange. Both the more neon one and the other transparent orange are in there. Then we kind of have a miscellaneous thing of hand colors with purple in the front. And then sand blue. And then just light gray for some reason. And I think the last one of this, the hands. And these two are empty, but this is just a transparent light blue in the front. And then this is all armor stuff here. Um, we have Glatorian sort of scroll armor here, and in the back we just have these pieces. I don't know what these are, but I have some of them, so they're in there. And then we have the sort of Metru gearbox cover armor piece from back in the day. 
we have these kind of weird Knights Kingdom armor pieces, and I really, I really don't like these all that much. Um, they have their uses, but in a lot of the stuff I build, they just don't look very good, so I don't include them. And in the back, we have just these kind of little tooth pieces, but these are these are pretty interesting looking, so I'll keep them. And then here, arguably minifigures, but I do put them here for some reason. I have all of these sort of Viserac from a lot of the 2005 Bionicle system sets, and I have all the different ones in here that I have. I don't think I have all of them. I think I have five out of the six different ones, but all those that I have are in there. They're just these armor pieces. I don't know exactly where these originated from, but they are in the back there. Here I have another one of my favorite bins. These are my two light-up swords, which I sorted out separately from the weapons. They have batteries. We can press the other button. There they are. Looking wonderful. Um, I need to find a good thing to use one of these or both of them on. But I have not yet. Ooh, you can see the light in there. And then this last one here is just the six stud stud shooter pieces in there. Moving on to these nine larger drawers here, and then we'll move into the big drawers, and then I'll show you guys a couple other things, and that will pretty much be a wrap on the video. But starting out with this one here, we have the CCBS bone pieces that we skipped up there. Um, these are the no pin two ball joint pieces for the lower limb, and then any any color of those are in there, and then any color of these are the upper limb version of that same piece. So. These are just sort of because I have larger quantity, and I don't think it makes sense to separate those based on color. This one is divided into two bins, and now I'm remembering there's also some mask stuff in some masks in here, kind of randomly. In the back here we have Hero Factory masks that either attach onto those weird Hero Factory heads, like these ones, or that just have weird attachments that I didn't feel like they went in the miscellaneous bin, or they just have the armor shell attachment as well. So all of those are in here. It's kind of just to catch all for them. And then here I have these sort of, I believe these were originally Paracolin pieces, all in there for whatever I need to use them for. This one is all just the black hand socket pieces, or they're just the black hands. Any any style, just all of them in black. So I have like the oldest style here, and then if I can find it, kind of the middle style, which I don't actually use because they break a lot. Very, I don't use them very often. The newer style, and then kind of the middle styles. In, the middle styles in here somewhere. There it is. Cool. So we have all those. Then this bin here, um, dark gray in the front, which you can probably tell I had a lot more of at one point, but used up a lot of. And then these sort of crystal armor attachment pieces with the socket attachment from Bionicle Wave 2, kind of the beast sets. Here we have various um, just leg connections. The Vaki leg connector piece, as well as the other ones from, I believe the Tomeshu were these, the ones that originally got these, but just kind of various waist pieces in there. And then these are all just hands, like the actual hand hands. In the back here we have the original ones from the Glatorian, and then in the front we have the CCBS ones which have the improved socket design. Any colors of those all just go in there, and I have quite a few as you can see. These are all just these bone pieces. I don't know the specific name of them or where they came from off the top of my head. They might they might be 2000, like 2006, 2007, 2008. I think 2006 is where these were from with the Toetnika from these ones. The weird colors, but any color of those are in there. And then this last drawer here is just the smallest upper limb sort of piece from the original Bionicle stuff. So, any, both styles of these with the ones with the axle holes and the ones with the smaller sockets. So, both of those are in there. And that actually wraps up these top sort of drawer sections pretty nicely. So, I think now we're going to move into the two, the three drawers that I have down here. And that will pretty much be it for the parts. Then I'll show where I store some mocks and other things. Um, opening up this drawer here, um, you can see that it's not all Bionicle. And that's, that's mostly intentional as a lot of the Technic stuff. It's kind of been pushed aside. This was mostly meant to be Technic and Bionicle, but most of the Technic large stuff would be in here. But System has kind of moved in <laughs> due to me running out of room over there. But System is most of this stuff with brick separators and other things. But there are three different Bionicle things in here. First one being masks that attach with the Metru head all in here. Um, I believe I believe the ones with axles don't have axles in them. The one that need the two long axles. Those don't have axles in them, I believe. I think I'll just put them in when I do it. Next one back is the rubberized masks, um, including this 
the Toa Anika as well as the Paraka skulls with all the spines on them. Pretty cool, I need to find something to use one of the Paraka skulls on for this, or maybe I'll wait till I get more. And then here in the back, just kind of, kind of miscellaneous, but kind of, kind of not, and I know it's pretty hard to see back there, but I'll pull out the drawer way more than I should to show you guys that. But right in here, we have all of these weird Asmatoran joint and arm pieces. All three of these are all in there, and they're all in the back because I don't use them very much. There are some good techniques you can do with, with these ones, if I can, hold on, let me find them with these ones right here, but in my experience, a lot of the other ones aren't very useful for much of anything, so all of those are in the back there, and that's, that's a wrap on that drawer, I don't know why I keep saying that's a wrap, but it is, so down here, um, this is all Bionicle stuff, and this is the weapons drawer, so taking a look at the various weapons that we have in here. We'll start out over here. This is what I call, refer to as kind of the elemental weapons. You know, this sort of ice saw or whatever. The Strawnius club half piece, the Krika staff, you know, squid. Various squid things, Strax ice axe. You know, just scrawl pieces, random things that seem elemental or like special weapons like a coley stick in here as well. And drills and other things. Just anything that seems kind of have an elemental vibe to me, or like a special specialty vibe, maybe it's not specifically a weapon. All that stuff ends up in this drawer here. Moving back here, and this used to be one giant mess, and now I've separated out into two smaller messes. And I will explain this. Um, this this one over here is the more sorted out of the two. It's shield pieces, blade pieces, and Vaki staffs are all in here. And then all the other blade pieces like Viserac blades, claws, hooks, random like saw pieces. And I don't know why, but I've always put like these propeller pieces and these pieces in here as well, which I think I'm going to take out probably, probably before the year's over, I'll sort out all those. And just, just kind of weird things like, you know, Rakshi staff ends, just, just various sort of more unusual weapons, hockey stuff, just anything that doesn't fit into that category that I see as a weapon and not like a claw or something goes into here. So this probably needs to be sorted out more, but I don't really have the space to sort it out, or really, really the desire right now to sort it out more. And here we have some armor pieces. Um, these are a lot of like the body armor pieces for more molded bodies, which if you notice on my mocks, I don't use molded bodies all that much. And I'll probably do a separate video sometime in the future where I kind of take you through the process of how I build mocks, but I don't know when I'll do that or if I'll do that. But maybe it's on the table, so. Back here, I have weapons that I associate with travel for whatever reason, um, as well as a lot of just like Baraki claws and things. You know, we have claw pieces in here of various kinds, as well as wings and some spines and just kind of creature things. Like creature and travel sort of things are what is in here, like these Vizrak sort of leg pieces. Propellers, which technically aren't bionicle, but I put them in here because they don't really go anywhere else. Rakshi spines. Jet packs. You know, just, just kind of random stuff. More more kind of mechanical looking wings, just, just whatever. Whatever I kind of see is travel stuff in there. Here I have more specialized, weird, or kind of, and I hate to use this term again, but elemental armor. Because I really don't think about like these weird fire spines in here, as well as the various like Strawnius armor, and then this, this armor piece, and then that armor piece. You know, just various specialized armor pieces that don't fit onto specifically molded bodies. And then here in the back I have the fabled ranged weapons or gun sort of thing, and there's a lot of different guns in here. We like we have the six firing Mari gun in there. We also have these things for shooting the Zamor spheres. We also have these things for shooting the Zamor spheres. We have quite a few things, squid launchers, both the rib cage and the shells for that, the ghost blaster base, disc launchers, also the jumbo missile launcher as well as like, you know, these sort of squeeze max launchers, and there's like the, there's the air thing for the ghost launcher, and then here are these jumbo missiles. 
well as from the Star Wars figures, like kind of like these gun things that you put a spring loaded shooter in as well. Pretty much just weapons that shoot projectiles are all in here, or like not projectiles or anything. That's really all it's in here. Just various different types. Um, I, I wouldn't mind sorting this out more, but um, I don't. One, I don't use a lot of this stuff a lot on mocks, and two, um, I think that it's sorted pretty okay, and I. I could I could figure out what I would want to take out, but I don't know if I would actually do it. Here we have, not in a thing at all, just random bags of pieces. Um, due to them not fitting in drawers, not really going anywhere. Um, here I have all these Borok shield pieces. And then down here, not weapons, I have the Nuva limbs. And then this is a bag, which looks kind of weird, but it's sort of any weapon piece that can be paired with itself to make a better weapon or composite weapons is what I refer to those as on um, these sort of elemental things and the crystal staffs all of those I've separated out into bags and all of those bags just kind of live in this hole pretty nice so I'm I'm a huge fan of that wouldn't mind getting some more space to give those their own areas though but that's where they are for now then this last drawer down here will be quick because there's not really a whole lot to talk about in it, and not a lot that needs explaining. Um, we'll start here in the front. CCBS armor shells, I don't sort out a lot. Especially the, any ones with prints are also in here as well. From the smallest size, let's see if I can find one to the largest size, which is this one. Like this size, and uh, this size to the largest size, just kind of the standard ones are all in there. Here I have more specialized ones, like body armor covering a lot of the Star Wars ones, some Bionicle ones, some of the bigger ones with stickers on them. And I think as well, I have kind of like the chest plates in here. And these ones as well for like the full villains and other things. Just kind of CCBS stuff and things of the sort. And then this one right here is all the Borok sort of body and Technic related Borok pieces are all in there. Then right here, um, this, this doesn't need a lot of explaining either. This is all... Bionicle Gen 1 in earlier CCBS, not CCBS, but like construction feet pieces. Um, and I think that this could also be sorted out more to stuff that, and the thing, the way I'm thinking of doing this is stuff that already has sockets on them and stuff that doesn't, either has the axle or doesn't have anything, or just has like the pinholes or whatever. So that this could be sorted out more, but it does work right now for what I'm doing. And then here I've separated out the CCBS feet. Any CCBS foot, and you know this. This I could, I could argue could go in there, but I, it's a CCBS foot, so I keep it in here. And there's not really a whole lot of different CCBS feet pieces, which does make this pretty simple. And I think there's only really four, and there, there, there are probably more, but these are the main ones that are in here. We have this sort of weird piece, and then the bigger version of this piece, the smaller version of that piece, and then this kind of boot piece that doesn't actually balance very well, and I don't like. It. So all those are in there, and then here are. This is just the big bin of random molded body pieces, which I rarely ever use on any mocks. I think the only mock that I, like the only big mock that I still have around that uses one of these is Tor, and he, he uses one of these. And that's because I had a custom sort of build for that, but it was stressing the pieces and I didn't want to break anything. So I reverted back to a regular torso for that. And I, I built shoulders on top of this, so, you know, it's not like exactly using this torso, but. It, it uses the torso for that. Just any weird molded torso, uh, all of them are in here, no matter what era they came from. Bionicle Gen 1 earlier, CCBS, you know, just anything weird. The weird Avmatorn ones that just, just kind of weird. Um, all those are in there, so. That's, that's the vast majority of everything, and I think that there's like one pick -a cup over there, which I'm not going to open and show you. But that's just all kind of large miscellaneous heads. It's just some various stuff like the Rakshi Bionicle Stars head, the Gadunka head, the Skirmix head, just, as well as some Slizers and Throwbots, random like head pieces are in there as well. And I think that pretty much is it for all the parts of the collection, and I'll just kind of take you guys through some of the places where I store mocks. So the first of which, and you'll notice various sets like Noct Nocturne and some Rakshi around. Um, the first place that I store a lot of my mocks is here on the windowsill, which... It's not the best place ever, but it does work, and it does give me a lot of space to store them. And I'm kind of, at, as, as you'll notice, I'm, I'm more or less at capacity with these storage spaces that I'm showing you, and I'll, I'll kind of step in to show you guys the back area there. 
Um, quite a few mocks there. Some of them have videos on them, some of them don't, and I will probably make a lot of videos on some of the ones that don't in the future, but, you know, taking things one step at a time, then this is the other sort of mock area where a lot of other mocks are stored. You'll see Tor and Kiram and some other people that might be more recognizable if you follow my Bionicle stuff, which I haven't been doing a lot of lately in the back. You know, the Rec revamp right in there. Anti Kiram, who got his own how to build video. Just a lot of different mocks in here. And this could this could probably use some get some more space if I took some other stuff off of this area that doesn't need to be here. But you know, just the vast majority of this stuff is just bionicle mocks that I've already built and have no intention on taking apart anytime soon, so they're kind of just on display and I th I think that's actually really it. Um, I also have a bunch of bionicle canisters, but I will more than likely, with the way this, this box situation is looking in my room, end up making a separate video sometime later this year about box storage. So, if you want to learn about the canisters, I guess you're just going to have to wait for that video, because this video is already going to be 40 minutes long, at least, based on just this raw footage, and I might cut some stuff out. But that is pretty much it for how I sort my Bionicle parts for mock making. Um, I found that this system works the best for me. Obviously, if you have a different system that works, maybe a more general sorting system, maybe you sort by everything by color or whatnot, you know, whatever works for you, this is just how I have done it, and this is how it works great for me. And if you notice how my, my parts are sorted out, just all by specific part, and that's that's basically has been carried over into here. A lot, a lot more strict on kind of the stuff up here, but a lot more loose on stuff like the weapons drawer and other stuff that... You know, I, I could I could sort out all that stuff into, you know, just the parts and give all the parts their own bin. But with the space that I have now, um, I don't, I just, just, it's just not practical to do that. And I'm, I'm already running low on shelf space as it is. You know, just adding maybe one or two of these on could would just completely, maybe right, yeah, you know, maybe right there. But it's not really over the main centered area, so I wouldn't do it more than likely. But enough rambling for this video. Um, I'll just state, kind of leave my summary to a minimum. This is how I do it. You're, feel free to take inspiration or ideas from what I've done here. You know, I really like the drawer systems, but I know that there are there are people out there who don't like the drawer systems and like more like containers that stack onto each other, which I don't like for my own reasons. But you know, if whatever works for you, um, hopefully this maybe gave you some ideas for what you can do if you are trying to find the best way to sort out your bionicle parts collection for mock making and one thing i will note i do use a lot of technic in my building as well and if you do too i would recommend keeping a lot of the technic stuff like i have near a lot of the bionicle stuff whether it's intermixed like it is in this system which you know probably isn't the best but you know whether you mix it all in or you just kind of put it all separately in a kind of a near space having a lot of technic especially if you're working with gen 1 and earlier bionicle pieces Having Technic is definitely not a negative, and you're going to want it nearby for things like, even things like black Technic pins, I use quite a lot of those on mocks. So, my one piece of advice for you is if you find a good solution to sort out your Bionicle pieces, I would put, keep the Technic stuff, whether it's sorted in the same way or a different way, very nearby, because you're going to need that more than likely if you're going to be doing a lot more complex stuff. But, there, you know, there's ways to build without Technic, so if that's what you do, you know, just do whatever, but... Um, I'm gonna. I'm more than likely gonna keep rambling if I keep the camera on. So I think it's time to turn off the camera. Um, hope once again. Hopefully this has given you guys some insight or some ideas on how you can do your own sorting. Feel free to borrow any methods that I used in this video for sorting. I know not all of these are stuff that I originally came up with, and I don't take credit for really any of these methods because I didn't come up with most of them. Just. My one piece of advice is if you if you have the space, just sort it in a way that makes sense for how you build. You know, maybe you don't like having all the same piece in a bin like I do. That makes sense for the way I think because when I'm building, I, I don't think, oh, I'm looking for this color piece first. I think which piece I need first. And, you know, usually looking through pieces if I don't know what to grab just by the part helps me but I know that there are other people who sort by color and other various methods and that that helps them so just sort in a way that makes sense for how you build this to me makes sense for how I build maybe for you it's not the best way to do it but you know just figure it out you know maybe build a few mocks to figure out how you like to sort how you like your collection sorted and then take the time to sort it out because the more time you put into sorting your collection 
the more the, the more you're going to get out of it and the easier it's going to be to find the parts you need faster so you can build more stuff or build better stuff than you are currently. So if I keep rambling again, I'm going to I'm going to keep going on forever, but thank you guys all so much for watching. Um don't don't check out the previous video I did of this if you don't want to. It's really bad and kind of cringy, so Watch it if you want. Links to any videos I've mentioned are in the description for you to go check out if you didn't click on the cards. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.